Hey everybody, Matt from the Admin Bar here. I, uh, I recently saw a couple of posts in the group wondering what the process is like when you're migrating a site that's hosted on a cPanel over to a host like Cloudways. So today we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna migrate this site here that's currently on GoDaddy over to Cloudways as GoDaddy's resources for this site just aren't there for the price. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is log into Cloudways. I've already set up a new application that we'll be migrating the site over to. Um, once this loads, we're going to get into that new install. So we've got the new Cloudways URL right here. Um, so you're going to want to install the Cloudways migration plugin on the old site. If you search for Cloudways, you'll be able to find it in their, uh, their migration tool right here. Um, you can also find this in your Cloudways account inside your application under Migration Tools. Uh, save to your desktop or whatever and install it from there. For this, uh, we're going to install it right from the repository. So click Install, then activate it. Once it's activated, it should redirect you right to the migration settings. If you need to find this, it's on the left sidebar under Cloudways Migrate. First, you'll enter your destination URL, which is the new applications URL here, uh, this guy right here. The database name is found right here. Paste that in, copy your IP address, and bring that over. Then the SFTP username is next. This you'll need... Um, this you'll need to set up with a username and password. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and copy and paste them into the migration settings page. Paste that in and the password. Then check the agree box and hit migrate. A new window will open to validate your details. This can take a little bit of time or a lot depending on the size of your site and the server speeds. Since this can take a bit of time, we're going to close up this video for now and come back once it's finished. And it's finished. This is the screen that will show up once everything's done. So you can visit the migrated site, which will bring you to the Cloudways app uh, URL version. Log into the back end of this site. We're still on the Cloudways app URL, and we're gonna make a small change on the migrated site so when we change the DNS records, we'll be able to see that the new site is indeed showing up. So I'm gonna open up the home page and make a fairly minimal change, like adding an exclamation mark uh, at the end of this title. Um, so when we do uh, check that page, we can see that this change is showing up. So the next step is to head over to Cloudways and open the domain management page to change the primary and secondary domains. Then we'll head back to the access details to snag the IP address and we'll swap out the old with this new one. This will log you out of the migrated site, most likely. So uh, sign back in and open the site in an incognito window to check that that small change is showing up. So one common thing that you may notice is that you now have an SSL error on your site, which is most likely going to be a mixed content error. This is super simple to fix. If you're using Elementor, head over to the Elementor tools uh, found on the left sidebar of the back end of the site and click on Replace URL. Paste in the Cloudways app URL that you had previously on the left and the new URL or the real URL of the new site on the right and click Replace URL. So 827 rows were affected. Um, and it swapped out all of those old Cloudways URLs that might have gotten stuck during the migration and uh, replaced them with the real domain name that we're, we're going to be using. This should fix all of your mixed content errors um, along with uh, any page links that, like on page links, that didn't swap out during the migration. And there you have it. That should cover just about everything um, in regards to swapping over a site that's on a cPanel to a host 
like Cloudflare. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.